With the Visiting Forces Agreement notice of termination filed, experts are weighing in on the consequences of the Philippine government's decision and the sentiments that the military could have. After two decades, the Philippines breaks up one of its military pacts with the United States after it notified America of its intentions to terminate the Visiting Forces Agreement. Congress has been divided over the issue and cabinet members have weighed the pros and cons. But some experts note that the move could stir tensions in the country's defense force. Military historian and defense analyst Jose Custodio even said the VFA abrogation could fuel a coup d'etat. Pwede magkaroon ng restiveness na sinasabi sa loob ng AFP. Alam nila, nagkikinabag dyan China eh. Eh, galit ang AFP sa China. So pwede magkaroon ng coup or mutinies. The Visiting Forces Agreement came into force on May 1999. It was a response to China's attempts to reclaim Mischief Reef after the military turned over its bases and left the Philippines in 1992. Senator Panfilo Laxon said the VFA's abrogation could expose the country to domestic and foreign terrorist attacks. In a statement, Laxon said it was not the smartest move for President Duterte to expose the country without inking similar defense treaties with other nations. But former presidential spokesperson Harry Roque urged soldiers to turn to reason. Eh, wag po kayo makikinig sa mga maninira ngayon kay Presidente. Si Presidente Duterte lamang ang talagang naglaan ng sapat na resources para kahit papano ay eh maging moderno ang hukbong sandatahan natin. We do not owe the Americans anything as far as yung modernization ng ating armed forces. House Minority Leader Benny Abante Jr., meanwhile, is optimistic that any coup attempt against Duterte will not prosper. Napakataas ang rating ng Pangulo natin. Magatagong may kaya ang kudita. I don't think that any kind of kudita can ever prosper. The VFA is set to expire 180 days after the filing of the notice of termination.